Now, as we have seen mensuration connected with areas and volumes, now there are so many different shaped objects in this world. So in the universe, you find different shapes which have their own definitive measures. Now say for example, I take the most simplest example of a pencil. I see that it has a sharp object and then the, the rest of it is flat and then it is bulged in the bottom or sometimes it might be flat. Now this makes me understand that there are different shapes out here. If I separate the different shapes, I first have this shape out here and then this comes out in this form. And then finally, if I separate in this. So these three different objects, when I separate from this, when combined together forms an, a pencil, which we most often used for graphing on the graph sheet. So different objects are combined to form a definitive object called the pencil. Now say for example, I take a real life object, say, <coughs> we all know that this is a funnel. So in case of this funnel, I see that I have one of the shape out here, which is exactly separated from the other shape here. So my visualiz visualization makes me understand that there are two different shaped objects in this combined object. One is this curved surface object, which is called the cone in its mathematical meaning. And the other is a cylinder, which I find here in as the thin part. So a cylinder and a cone makes a funnel is how I understand. To take with <coughs> the diagram, I have this in the shape of this. So that <coughs> this funnel, when separated, gives me a cylinder sort of shape. And then the bottom part gives me a cone sort of a shape. Is how I understand the object in its own definitive manner. So there are different objects. Say for example, I take one more object for better understanding of how the combined structures are understood. Now we all know that this is a test tube which we most often use in the biological laboratory, most oftenly. So in the sciences laboratory, <coughs> the test tubes are used very oftenly. So you're all well aware of this. Now we know that this has a cylindrical surface until here, but bulged. That means I have a cylinder and the other part is a hemisphere, which I find because this is part of the sphere. Therefore, if I visualize this object, I understand that a test tube, which is generally flat, but bulged in the bottom, makes me understand this can be separated as a cylinder and then a hemisphere, which I get from separating the two objects. So finally, we see that a test tube, which is separated into the cylinder and the hemisphere or a pencil, which is separated from the top, the middle and the bottom or a funnel, which is separated with a cylinder and a cone is how we visualize the combined structures and separating them and then finding each of the areas and volumes would be easy because each of the cylinder or a cone or a hemisphere have their own definitive properties. Therefore, mathematics in mensuration have identified some standard objects like the cuboid or a cube or a cone or a cylinder or we have different shapes like pyramids, etc., which are said to have definite areas and volumes. So let's see some standard structures and their areas and volumes respectively. Now there are six standard solids which we are going to discuss in mensuration connected with areas and volumes. So these are the six standard solids which we usually apply in finding the 
volume or area of any object with the combined structures as we have seen in the previous case of a funnel or a test tube or a pencil where they are divided into different structures each with their own standard structure as a solid. So let's take some of the standard solids which are cuboid and a cube because both have their own definitions coming out here. <coughs> Next is we have cube or cuboid as the first case and then I have cylinder then I have a cone then I have a prism then I have a pyramid and then I have a sphere. So using these six basic solid structures I am going to construct the multiple combined structures where the areas and volumes can easily be identified for the standard solids. So let's take each of the standard solid separately and identify the dimensions and connected with areas and volumes. To start with cuboid and a cube. 